Manchester United's pre-season tour is about to get started and it gives me the opportunity to take a look back at last pre-season where I think genuinely it's probably some of the best content I've done here on United People's TV. How much have United actually improved? What we're going to do is take a look at training videos from last year and take a look at examples from this year, compare them. How much faster is it? How much sharper is it? What are the areas that still need to be improved? If you can, drop a like on this video. I think I asked for 3,000 likes here and it actually worked. <laughs> Just not the gong over. That's how excited I was that we got 3,000 likes. Let's do the same thing again, man. But let's enjoy this video. And it's an enjoyable, exciting time to be a United fan. Let's get into it. And I think you'll enjoy this one. I know I will. But last preseason, right, when we went from Ragnik to Ten Hag, yeah, it was a big transition. And there was a lot of the basics. There was a lot of press-ups. There was a lot of running. There was a lot of huffing and puffing from these players who went from, I don't know, lazy boys to, you know, oh, we've actually got a real manager who actually wants us to work hard and graft. And then we saw what happened in the actual footballing side of things as well. Ten Hag was implementing his style, implementing the one-touch training methods that he used at Ajax. And, you know, some of it worked, some of it didn't work. But it was, it was a, a sort of a testing time for United's players. So what I'm going to do now is take a quick look at basically this first of all right so this is the training video from eric ten hag at ix and this is what we knew that we were working towards straight away it's one player in the middle knocking it off quick pass and move one touch football this is what eric ten hag wanted his manchester united team to do and then we saw how it was implemented in at manchester united and we saw you know from from, the, from a speed perspective it, it, it wasn't quite there was it you know, the intention was there, but everybody was getting used to it. Everybody was trying to understand what Mitchell van der Gag, Steve McLaren and Eric Ten Hag were telling these players to do. And yeah, it was a little bit slow. Obviously, it's improved across the course of the season. But how does it look now? This is a video from preseason training, the first day back. Now, that's Casemiro there, that's Lindelof. Uh, that's all the other players too. So I know whose feet they are. And I, I, I'll be honest, I wouldn't say there's a, there's a significant amount of difference in between these two videos. That's not really the talking point of this video. But the point I'm trying to make here is this, right? Eric Ten Hag took these players into preseason last season and he had to teach them so much, physically and mentally. And a lot of it was physical. These players now are a step of much further down the line than they were last preseason. So all these sorts of, you know how last preseason we saw like photos of Maguire and Sancho like lying on the floor going, Ugh. that's not going to happen this preseason because Ten Hag's thinking, right, okay, where were we last preseason? Where are we in this preseason? What do I need to improve that? Now, from a transfer perspective, we know exactly what he's thought. He goes, right, number one, I need a pressing number eight to fit inside this system when we're playing with uh, the three one six formation that's when United are in possession. I'll speak about that a little bit later. I've already done a full video on that, which you seem to enjoy. Mason Mountie identified as that perfect person to play alongside Bruno Fernandes. Right, cool. So he's thinking, right, we've got that. Okay, so we've got the two number eights there. Okay, what else do we need? He goes, right, well, seeing as David De Gea is leaving, let's go for that number one goalkeeper. A year probably earlier than I expected or wanted to. Not wanted to. He wanted to do it this summer, but he didn't think he could afford it. Anyway. It's all changed. Anana's coming in. And this is going to be the probably the biggest thing to watch this preseason. This is the biggest change. Watch how all the training... I mean, I suppose you don't really see training matches and stuff like that. But everybody's going to have to get used to playing differently with this man at the back. And Eric Ten Hag's going, okay, right. So we've got num we've got Mason Mount. We've got Andre Anana. We've got a new goalkeeper, new number eight. What else do we need? Everyone knows the answer to that. It's a new striker. It was the priority going into the summer. Nothing's changed on that. Nothing has changed. He still is the priority. A new striker is the priority. After Renana is done, United are already accelerating with a deal for Hoyland. We've got personal terms agreed. The bid's going to go in soon. And I'll tell you what, I think the negotiations for Mason Mount and negotiations for Onana, I have to give credit to United for how it ended up being. Like, both of them are... Onana should be making his debut, hopefully, against Arsenal on the preseason tour. That means both of our... Two of our, of our three major signings, both done before the preseason's first game. So Ten Hag's thinking, okay, right, where were we last season? Where are we this season? And if we now take a look at some of the rondos. So rondo, of course, is that training method. You know what it is. This is from last summer. Simple. One-touch football. Don't give it to the players in the bibs. All right? It's very basic. It's very, very basic. It, 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 it's quite fundamental for, for getting 
these players to play that quick one touch football. So that was last preseason. Let's have a look at this preseason. See if there's any sort of subtle differences or anything like that. I don't again, I don't particularly think there is, but I would say that these players now from a method perspective, they absolutely know Eric Lux Casemiro going in for the slide here. What? See ya. Skinned by the low. <laughs> He's letting him know. Don't slide me in training, my man. No, no. Um, Ten Hag and his methods, right? They're intense. They were intense on day one. And as I said, we go back to that photo there. There was a lot of uh, there were a lot of casualties last season, last preseason. Um, Ronaldo was obviously a major casualty of the actual. He just he just didn't fit in the system. I kind of in the same way that Maguire doesn't really fit the system. But Ten Hag got these players playing, well, not completely the way he wanted to. And I want to use this as an example, right? Where's this photo here? Can you remember what game this is from? I'll give you five seconds. I'll give you two. Man United beating Spurs 2-0 at Old Trafford. That, for me, was... Uh, you know I've said this quite a lot of times here on United People's TV. That's the blueprint. That's what all these... That's what all this training is for. That's what all of this is about. That's what all of that is about, is to get United playing like that every single week. And what Ten Hag has done in this preseason so far is he's gone out and he's got a new number eight. He's got his new goalkeeper. He will get his new striker. And all of those combined, with now an extra year of training, uh, an extra year of understanding the Ten Hag philosophy, understanding the one-touch football, understanding this sort of football, one-touch, quick, decisive, pass, move, it's not, it's easier said than done. And it can take time and it will take time. And it has taken time. But United, this is, this is my point here. You have reason to be excited as a United fan. How much have United improved from 2022 to 2023? It's kind of hard to decipher from the, the training videos themselves. But there definitely seems to be a little bit more of a sharpness. A little bit more of an awareness. An, an acute awareness. And a, an understanding, right? When, when you end up really understanding a manager's principles, they become second nature. You don't have to think about it. You're already passing it first time. You're already moving into space. That all had to get taught into these players. It's like muscle memory. This summer, watch it. This is this is this is going to be the pre this is going to be the shape that we play in possession. We tried it a few times last season, but it didn't really work. I've gone through this quite a few times already, but look, you've got um oh, it didn't work. You've got Varane over there, you've got Martinez, you've got Alvaro Fernandez. So that's two centre backs and once and then you can see down at the bottom there that Wambasak has gone forward to create the overload. One holding midfielder who's Kobe Mayu, that'll be Casemiro in the first team. And then one, two, three, four, five. Creates the overload. That's going to be Manchester United's shape going forward. The man who really is going to change how we play is Andrea Nana. That's something that we can't really quantify until we see United in action. Will he I mean, he might make his debut against Arsenal, but it's going to take a it will probably take a good in the same way that last preseason was all about running, fitness, understanding the intensity of Ten Hag's football. I'd say the main thing to look out for this preseason is how quickly can these players start to play differently with Andrea and Nana behind them. That's the biggest job, I would say, of, of Ten Hag and his coaching staff and, and Onana in this preseason. Get them used to playing with him because the football is going to be completely different. And when it works... And when we get there and these players really understand how different and how much better United can be with a, with a goalkeeper like that behind them, then we really are going to start seeing version two of Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United. A version which more often than not will be able to pull out performances like that against Spurs, control the full 90 minutes, really press from the front, force the opposition into mistakes and be clinical in front of goal whilst also at the same time being defensively extremely resolute. That's why I'd say you've got reason to be really excited about this season that we've got coming up. We've done well so far in, in, in the summer transfer. We've got Mason Mount, we've got Onana, and hopefully we get Hoyland. They're three big signings. Could we do with more? Yeah, sure, you can pretty much always do with more. But I'm excited to see how the progression of this team continues. A lot of it happened last season, but not... There is, I would say we're about 50% of the way there. I'd say there's still 50% of growth to go before we are Ten Hag's perfect version of Manchester United. Let's watch the preseason. Let's see how much we continue to develop. I'm excited about it. 
I'm going to go and pick the gong up now. because got... <laughs> You can let me know what you think in the comments below. But I'm really looking forward to the full preseason. And, and bring on Wolves, man.